All right, now on a foldable phone, on the large screen real estate, the multitasking becomes seamless. We will be able to open three applications at once in three different windows, and we can also open apps in pop-up windows. We can increase or decrease the size of the windows depending on the requirements, which is fantastic. Next, the phone is foldable at almost any angle. So it is very easy to place it on a table at maybe 70 degrees to watch contents while maybe dining on a table. We don't need a separate stand for that. And if you have a Galaxy kickstand, we can use the full screen real estate to watch contents while the phone is placed vertically at an angle using the kickstand. That beautiful large bright display offers punchy colors and it's a pleasure to watch contents placing the phone like this. It has two speakers on the top and bottom which fires pretty well. Now this phone has cameras on three different places. A front selfie camera, a rear main camera module and a hidden camera on the large foldable screen and most of the times you will end up using the main rear cameras even for selfies. Let me explain. You see when I open the main camera on the large screen, an icon opens on the top right by tapping on which we can enable the cover screen preview for the main sensors. So once it is enabled, we can turn the phone around to use the main sensors for selfie and see the preview right there on the cover screen to get some good quality shots. That's amazing, isn't it? Now, if you want to go on a Zoom call, WhatsApp video call, etc., this phone got it covered as well. Just unfold the phone, place it on a table, make a video call. The camera is right there on the upper half of the main screen, which is always invisible when you are not using it and you won't have a clue that there is a camera there. That is just insane. That is not it. If you are using the main sensors for taking photos while you are on the main screen, you can see the captured images in real time on the same screen, which we can't imagine seeing on a normal slab phones. Now, here is something more interesting. Let's say we open Samsung Notes application or MS Word files while phone is half open. We get to enable the flex mode by tapping on this button at the bottom left corner. When you tap on that, it can open the keyboard, it can open a touchpad. We've got a few more options here on the left to take screenshots or open multiple applications, etc., which is so cool. This makes the full look like a mini laptop. That is just insane. Next, working on MS Office files like Word, Excel, PowerPoint is very easy on this large screen. I'm able to do a lot of my office work on this phone seamlessly when compared to the S23 Ultra, mainly because of the larger screen and how much of content it can show me on the screen. Most of the times I struggle to do this work on a slab phone. The foldables can completely change the way you work on these applications or files. Now, coming to the aspect of navigation, you will be surprised to see how amazing it is to navigate the menus on the settings or applications. Let's say you are in a settings menu. The sub menus open on the right half of the screen, giving us direct access to the previous menu. It works the same on Samsung Files application on which we can easily navigate and search for the files we are looking for. That is so cool, isn't it? Now, web browsing is something which we do a lot on the phone. Having a big screen is so, so useful to open multiple websites at the same time. We can keep the multiple tabs open. We can switch between tabs. All this is so seamless and you are going to love this experience for sure. Next, the gaming experience. I do not have words to explain how awesome the gaming experience is on this phone. Many mainstream games opens in large screen and man, that experience is just incredible. It will make you play more and more on this device. All right, now having said all this, the top of the line Samsung Galaxy S series phones are incredible. They pack every latest specifications on an Android phone offering the best of the flagship phone experience we could ever get. However, the Z Fold 5 is unique and futuristic and there are areas where the Fold beats the generation old slab design of a Galaxy S series phone and offers much more than a slab phone could offer. Now, when you look at this Fold 5, it looks small when folded looks in fact smaller than this chunky S23 Ultra. I know it is thicker than this lab phone, however, it is very comfortable to use the fold in one hand as it just fits into the palms easily. And it looks pretty cool as well, and it catches a lot of eyes around you. Something which people usually don't see in everyone's hands, at least for now. Then comes the large, incredible, crisp and colorful display, which is quite bright and anyone would go bonkers looking at this large display. And you may be wondering, since the phone is foldable with hinge mechanism, thin layered display and all that makes phone fragile and difficult to handle. If you're thinking so, you are under a wrong impression. This phone is solid built and it does not feel fragile at all. At first, yes, you are going to shift from a brick to a phone which folds. So you will feel that thing in your hands, but as you use it, it becomes normal 
normal and you will have more confidence to use it like a normal slab phone. Coming to the cameras, people say S23 Ultra is the best. I agree it is the best in terms of numbers like megapixels, zoom capabilities, etc. But the image quality on the 4.5, it's as good as the S series phone, so I don't see a compromise there. This phone is well packed with what we need on a foldable. But yeah, having said all that, there is definitely room for improvement, which we will see in coming days. These are my thoughts about the Z Fold 5. You let me know what do you think? Do you think this is worth the upgrade? Do you think this can do better than a slab phone? Let me know, share your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You're gonna see loads of contents on the Galaxy S series phones, foldable phones, Galaxy watches, and many more tech contents. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers, bye-bye.